Hello and welcome to Manor Lords. I'm Evie and we're back in our little town of whatever this is. And But I found out that you can rename it. We, we can name it whatever we wanted. I don't know. I don't have any good, I don't have any good ideas. Uh, if you have a good idea for what we should rename our region, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, we're going to leave it as is for now. Now, since the last recording of this, I have learned a lot because I've been playing this over on my Twitch channel. And if you don't already, you should definitely check it over there. I live stream five days a week and we have a great time. And I've got a really, really lovely community over there as well. But I've learned a lot because there are people who know a lot about this game who are leaving huge comments. And obviously, thank you again to Thal, who has left massive comments teaching me so much about this game. And thank you also for the feedback on the shape, because I do like the shape too. I think spoken wheel pattern is the way to go. It seems it just makes sense to me. I like it. But we've learned quite a lot. And I think we're ready to push forward rather sooner rather than later. We need to be upgrading to level two, which means we need to get the clothing stall supply here so that we can upgrade to level two. But that's actually really easy. And I didn't realize how easy it actually is because there's so many things here that we haven't started doing that aren't that difficult. So one of the things is we probably don't need to have this many planks that we're just kept keeping in reserve. So we're going to lower this down to 40. That way we should be able to build like kind of two things. We have a bit of surplus in that. But also we need to build a, and I don't think we already have one. We need to build a tannery so we can start turning our hides into leather. And with that, we'll be able to make clothes. So I'm going to stick it over on this side. It's kind of close to where we're getting our animal huts anyways. And then maybe later on, we could also put in some goat sheds here once we have enough wealth, because we don't currently have any wealth. Although we are working on some trades here so hopefully we can get some i don't think we're importing anything at the moment no no current imports so we should just be making money with that uh and then we're gonna get the clothing stalls set up someone will come and put one in the marketplace and we're gonna be set because yeah right now we've got the fuel we've got the food but we don't have any clothing currently nobody has access to clothing i don't want to start a nudist colony so we're gonna need to get that sorted as quick as possible now one of the other things that was suggested was possibly that we make these smaller so we can have kind of a better rotation. And I think that's not a bad shout. Now, of course, our land here was not particularly fertile, so it's never going to be great. But we're just going to make do with what we can. But we're going to make smaller fields. All right, we've got four smaller fields now. So let's get wheat going in there. We're going to set up for crop rotation. We'll leave it fallow because I mean, this is there's nothing really good here for, I mean, actually managing to have anything happening. Oh, yeah, it's pretty rough pretty rough all right our tannery is going in and we're gonna get a family working in there just as soon as we can because they'll be able to turn our hides into leather and then we'll have clothing which means our people will have all the things they need for a happy up expansion up to level two there we go so the tannery's done one family to go in there that's gonna get clothing sorted all right our windmill and communal oven hopefully we'll have something to do hopefully this wheat fields work a little bit better we're just gonna focus just on wheat there's four fields at the moment and we're going to be keeping two of them fallow right now and then having two of them for wheat. And we're going to kind of have a little bit of a rotation on them. Our approval rating is at 99%, although it seems to be going down. People, oh, there we go. We're at 100% approval rating. I mean, the only way to go is down. Oh no, and then we just dropped down to 86. Okay, well, that was short-lived. But we now have clothing available, so 17%. It's not enough to cover everybody at the moment, but at least some of these guys now could be upgraded to level two. And level two means we're going to be able to unlock new extensions but also if we unlock if we upgrade two of them to level two then we're going to become a medium village so just going to choose two that are able to be converted and we're going to get those two upgrading and that's going to give us our next settlement point which means it gives us another development point and we definitely need the development points the other thing that we're going to need i think is actually just more people living here currently we have space for 30 and we have 30 so i wonder if we put in Maybe another set of houses around here or maybe over on this side. Oh, these ones are quite tightly packed in there. We don't need them all to be tightly packed. All right, I think we're going to go for four new houses along here with the option of having the extension on and the workshops in the back. Let's stick those four in. And luckily spring is right around the corner. Now taking a look at our map, I feel like we need to be starting to move maybe into other ones. We're going to have to keep an eye on that because we are out of certain things like the stone deposit only has 15 stones left in it. We're going to need to have more. The iron deposit only has 12 pieces of iron left. The clay deposit, though, is a rich deposit. It has tons still. And we don't actually have anyone working in there at the moment. So could put someone in there, start getting some clay. We are going to need the roof tiles soon. So we could get that going. So we could put a clay furnace out here near our clay deposit. And we also have our sheep over in the pasture. 
and the sheep farm over here. Our settlement level has increased. Excellent. The other thing we need is a weaver's workshop. I'm going to stick that next to the sheep farm so that they're going to be able to turn the gathered wool into yarn. Quite a few things that we want to get building, so... All right, we did get a new development point, so we need to think about what we want to put in there. We did forest management for the first one, which gives us doubles the capacity of all berry deposits. Uh, but I have learned that trade logistics and better deals is really important because this reduces all import prices by 10, and that is just really, really good. So we're gonna have to go for establish a new trade route, always cost a maximum of 25 regional wealth, and then we're gonna save up for that one. Now to get that one, the next thing we need to do is just get three more of our burgage plots to be level five, which is actually not that hard to do. We just need to choose a few of these and get them upgraded. And the other thing is we are starting to have some regional wealth. We've got 66 at the moment. We could turn some of these then into a goat farm. I'm gonna put it near the tannery because it just makes sense. So we've got our two goat sheds back here near to our tannery. And then of course that's near the hunting camp. So we are getting more wild animals and hopefully they'll be able to make quite a lot of leather. Uh -oh. Stocks in our storehouse have been damaged by the weather. That is not ideal. We could also upgrade to a larger storehouse. Maybe that will help keep things a bit more protected in the bad weather. Cause yeah, the weather is a bit terrible. Our weaver workshop is now built. So we'll put somebody in there. Hopefully they'll be able to take this wool and turn it into some clothing. We've got a second clothing stall now in here, which means we're up to 78% of our houses now have access to clothing, which is pretty good. I mean, it'd be ideally if it was closer to, oh, wait, look, there actually are. These houses down here don't have access to anything. Is it just interesting? These guys are the level two ones. They're missing a tavern supply and they need the church level and they need more options for clothing. They are needy people, but we also are going to need our small stone church. So we need to upgrade our church because the burgage plot, the level two ones require the small stone church rather than just the wooden church. So let's up the priority on our clay furnace because that's where we're going to be making those tiles for the roof. And then once that's built, we can stick those people in there. Now, luckily we've got food for 16 months and fuel for six. We could almost have more houses going in, but we could also expand the living spaces of these new ones we've just put in. And that would fit a whole nother family then. The weather is absolutely terrible for June, my goodness. But everybody's working very hard despite the terrible weather, pulling their carts along, transporting some stone. All right, our clay furnace is now built. So we just need to get one person in there so that we can start building some tiles for the roof. And there we go. We've got another burgage plot level two, which means our settlement has increased, which means we can unlock better deals. And with that, it might be time to start brewing. So we have no way of easily getting barley in order to brew in our town. So because we don't have very good fertilizer, if we look over here, barley is 10% which is not going to be good enough. So we're gonna have to use the trading post to get it. Now, if we go into the trade, because we just chose that better trades one, we can now get barley for only two gold per import, which is way better than what we could have had before. So we want to start importing barley. We might need to start exporting something else though. We've got tons of berries. Maybe we export some berries. There were three, or we could start exporting some bread. I don't want to keep some of these for ourselves though, because if we run out, we're going to be hungry, but we could export both of these, keeping a good amount of stock for ourselves. Let's say we keep at least 250 berries for ourselves and at least 50 loaves of bread. Anything over that we could be exporting. So we're gonna to need to make as much money as we can and also export some tools. We've set up a trade route to export some tools because we don't need those so much. We just really need the money to make sure we can afford the barley. All right, we've finally got some roof tiles made so we can upgrade to a small stone church instead. That's going to make our burgage plots level two a lot happier if they've got that because they did need that second church level, so they're happy with that now. They still need a tavern supply and we still need to figure out a way of getting a few more clothes, but I think I've got a plan for that, which is going to require some of these bigger plots to get a backyard thing going and then get that where they need to be level two. So we're gonna be upgrading these ones to level two and we're gonna give them some jobs. Now, one of them is going to be our brewer and one of them a shoemaker perhaps. The other thing I'm also going to do is upgrade our hitching post to being a small stable. Then we're going to have room for another ox. That means we'll be able to move things around more efficiently to make sure we're getting wood delivered a lot quicker. Especially if we have a family working in the stable to move the things with the ox. And another winter is here. 
luckily we have food still for 18 months plus fuel for six months so we're sorted until next summer which is actually just it i feel like it's going very smoothly which is nice all right one of these is now upgraded to level two we are going to make this one our brewery so we're going to be putting a brewery extension into this particular building and they're going to be taking care of all of our brewing needs now there's a few other things that we need with that we are importing the barley, which is great. We're gonna need a tavern. So that's gonna go, I think, central in kind of here. Need the tavern in the downtown, of course. And we already have the malt house, but we're gonna need to put somebody actually working in there. So a family needs to go into the malt house to start turning our barley into malt so our brewery can use that to supply the tavern with beer and make all of our level two burgage plots happy. All right, and with this second one that is now in, we're gonna make it into a cobbler. We're gonna make it into a tailor, actually. Either of those would be fine. Let's go with a cobbler for now, though, and get some shoes on our people, because I feel like our people really do need shoes. Our tavern is going in. There we go, some nice tables outside. A bit chilly for sitting outside, I imagine, but we've got that there. We're going to need a family working in there. Now, I don't know if our brewery has actually managed to get anything. Oh, look, there's already ale going in there. So they have the breweries already up and running. We now have five bits of ale in our brewery. People are enjoying it already. This is great news. Oh, fantastic. Oh, yes. This is going to make everybody happy. Now, to get to our next settlement level of small town, we are going to need... Burgage plots level three or higher, and we need three of those, which that is quite the ask. Now, in order to level it up, we are going to need that clothing and the tavern to have more of a constant supply. Because, yeah, the taverns, it is running out quite often, so not quite a constant supply. That's kind of ticking on and off, and the clothing. But we are working on the clothing. The cobbler shop is now up and running. They just need to be getting in, I guess, the leather. So we could consider a few more goat sheds just to make sure that we are, in fact, getting the leather in. So I put in three more places that have goats. So now we've got five total over here with goats. And I think that's going to help our tannery. Should get quite a bit of leather then. Could even put... Oh, I can't actually put another family in there right now because we are a little low on space for people. So we're going to get some more houses put in here. Various sizes. Some more houses in here and a few over here tucked into this little corner. I mean, that plot is quite tiny, but they'll fit a little house on there and it's good enough for one small family. Even if they can't run their own business, they'll be able to work in town. And what we just need, I think, at the moment is people because we're quite good on food. 17 months worth of food, which is pretty intense. And we've got fuel for nine months now. So like everything is running really well. I think having this amount of surplus does mean that it's time to expand and get more people in here. And our church is finally being converted over into the stone church. And that is looking pretty good as all the beams go into place. All the walls go up. Little windows in there, some stone work. It's looking fairly lovely. Oh, and here we go. We got the bell tower going up and up. A little cross on top and of course the shingled roofs. There we go. Right, our construction of our stone church is back up and running. Right, our small stables in. I'm going to put a family in there. We're also going to order another ox. It only costs 20 gold and another ox will come. And as far as gold goes, we've got 617 at the moment. And that is with us trying to get in the barley to keep our tavern up and running. And, I mean, it is it, it is technically up and running. Now it's rainy. No one's going to want to sit outside in the rain. I mean, they sit outside in the winter, though. There, someone got sat down with a bit of ale. Rain has stopped. The sun is shining. Our tavern is up and running with that really cute windmill in the background. I mean, that is that's quite a pretty picture, that is church bells chiming oh i'm loving our town i absolutely love it and i hope you are too right so this we've got our brewery here they're doing good work we've got our cobbler shop here now these two i need to upgrade as well oh they're not getting fuel supplies food or clothing which is interesting i wonder why that is the market supply is just not meeting demand so yeah fuel like these houses back here aren't getting fuel they're not getting the food variety and they're not getting the clothing either is that because we need more people available to sell those things i mean if i put another family into the weaver's workshop for example will they set up a stall at some point new families moving in all the time we might want to bring some more sheep into this pasture let's see if we can go in here and buy some more sheep then we'd have a better supply of wool i suppose all right some of our houses are going in over here is good and those three houses back here have gone in we're definitely gonna have space for new families to start moving in 
Oh, I think we need to up our desired surplus on the barley. I think we have it way too low. Our desired surplus, I'm going to say, is going to be 50. That way, hopefully, they'll bring in a lot more because our gold is kind of hovering around the 600 range. But this, I mean, this will lower it if we're bringing in all that. But I think it's still worth it because the tavern supply does seem to be holding us back a bit. This, I mean, our, this is our brewery, but they don't have access to have any tavern supply. This is, once again, empty at the tavern. And over at the malt house, they only have three bits of, of malt being made. It's all a bit slow, and I think we just need to be bringing more in through our trading post. The only thing I wonder is about giving them a permanent livestock assignment. That might speed things up. We could order them a horse. You know what? Let's, let's try it. Let's order a horse for the trading post and see what that does for us. Because, yeah, it looks like they've got space in here for a horse, so... Okay, this is going up now. Fuel's up to 89%, so just kind of the outliers there. Same with food variety, and the clothing is doing much, much better now. Looks like we, yeah, we've got lots of shoes, we've got yarn, and we've got leather. So the other thing would be cloaks. We need to get one of our level 2 plots to start making the cloaks. And this one, actually, this level 2 plot actually has everything it needs to upgrade to level 3. So I'm going to upgrade it to level 3 and see what that gets us because that could be really good all right so we just got 30 coins in and 20 coins out so that's still feeling pretty good we're down to 564 but that's still quite a lot of regional wealth i'd say and we have enough spare houses for six more families so i think that's good and we still have supply fuel for eight months food for 13. i mean that food is getting a little bit lower we look over at our berries we still have 109 but we've got all four families in here three of them are running market stalls Come back and look at our market. 85% of them are getting fuel. 94% are getting food. And 100% of them now are getting clothing. So the clothing, that's well sorted. And we don't even have the cloaks up and running yet. The food variety, though, I'm thinking we might need... I mean, I wonder if we get a few more places doing eggs. Or with our next development point, we could get honey or apples. And then fuel, though, I suppose we don't have any charcoal yet. I wonder if that could be our next upgrade point. Because once we get two more places upgraded to level three... We should get another point and we'll be able to spend that on something good. Just seem to be a bit short on the planks. So put another family into the saw pit. Planks seem to be our shortage at the moment. I mean, we are selling them. All right, we've got a horse now officially working in our trading post. Hopefully that speeds things up. Lots of families working over on our different fields. But of course it is October, so we are heading into another winter. But I think things have gone well. I think we've made a lot of good improvements here. Um, obviously, we're learning as we play. If you've got any tips or hints or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section because I love reading your feedback and your comments. But otherwise, we are at a video time for today. I hope you're still enjoying Manor Lords as much as I am, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.